Hello all you magnificent people, Derpo the Magnificent here, and today we're back with the 8th episode of the Master Mode playthrough. Woo! Sam's just as excited as I am. Yeah! Okay, maybe a little bit too excited. Yeah! <laughs> anyway, um, so I, I did some things. Fought the solar eclipse, that happened. It actually happened multiple times. There there were two solar eclipses in a row. It kind of sucked, because there's no way to really skip them. So I had to just fight two of them. Uh, and because of the guy, I got the Terror Blade. I'll just kind of have it in my inventory, I guess. It's pretty good, honestly. I mean, it's the Terror Blade. Of course it's good. It also is godly, so that's nice. I have to reforge that. Um, yeah, I went ahead and respreaded the, uh, the, the trophy, just like I said in the last episode. Uh, and it looks pretty good. I'm actually really happy with how that turned out. Um, it could definitely be better, um, but it, it's uh, it's okay. It's it's fine. I like it. Uh, I feel like I did an okay job there. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything else. I didn't really do too much, honestly. I didn't do any new building or anything like that. Oh wait, no, that I did do a little bit of building. I lied. Uh, yeah, I built I built a bit of a graveyard. I just. Um, yeah, over here. Uh, I got these ideas for graves from, uh, Chaos. Uh, if you just place, like, um, whatchamacallit, clay blocks down, then they never grow grass on them, so it just kind of looks like raised dirt and just, like, actual graves. And I just put a whole bunch of different gravestones and stuff like that, so that's cool. Um, this is just so I have a graveyard to, like, do graveyard crafting and stuff in uh and these fences in the background are actually wrought iron fences that are, are wrought iron no yeah i guess they are wrought iron fences uh which can only be crafted in a graveyard they're kind of cool um and yeah zombies and stuff spawning graveyards they're they're the thing oh yes and i got the shovel finally which is the thing you can craft in the graveyard it digs a three by three hole all at once just like that look at that it's like starbound it's nuts um my only problem with it is that it isn't affected by smart cursor at all so it's actually really annoying to use but you know it, it's fine it's pretty cool so yeah in this episode we're going to be fighting plantera and the golem um and potentially more i don't know um after the Golem is Duke Fishron and the Empress of Light are both optional bosses that we can take on with post-Golem gear. Um, that, once we're post-Golem, that just unlocks a decent amount of new stuff. Uh, and Killing Plantera unlocks the new dungeon and stuff. Gosh, there's lots we can do. Um, but Plantera first. I've prepared the arena. There's a summoner relatively close to the arena, so we should be okay. I'm just going to have to break the bulb, which is over here, and then just kind of sprint back to the arena. It's going to be a bit close, but I think we should make it. That, that'll be... We'll, we'll, we'll be okay. Shouldn't be that big.
Nice. We've done it, boys. Oh, hey, we got the flower pow. And that is actually pretty good. Sweet. I was wondering if this weapon was going to be any good. And it looks like it might be. Oh, wow. When it's out on the ground, it actually fires way faster. That's super cool. Oh my gosh, yeah, look at that! You can just leave it on the ground and it's just a full-on turret. That's amazing! <laughs> Get him. Or don't, whatever, it's up to you. Anyway, didn't get the pet, but that's okay. I think I've seen the pet, and it's not all that great. Okay, so. We cannot break these traps. That's really disappointing. Um, boom, got it, Temple Raider. Even though I already had that achievement. But hey, nice to get it officially in the game for some reason. I think I'm actually just going to go to the dungeon instead. Because I can get some real good stuff from there. I'm just going to go to the dungeon and get me a combat shotgun and hopefully a sniper. Combat shot is the main thing I want, though. Oh, and a rocket launcher would be really cool as well. Okay, uh, I hate this so far. And we got a Spectre Staff. Cool. Well, hey, that thing got buffed recently. It actually, like, goes through walls and pierces now, so it's actually a good weapon. Which is really nice of the game. Wow, um... Screw you too, game. This sucks! Oh my god! Go away! Jeez, dude! Just wizards everywhere! I'll go to tally counter. Oh, there's a skeleton commando. Oh, no, that was the sniper! And I got the sniper! Oh, fantastic! Oh, and that guy's got the... Ah, oh, rocket launcher. He didn't drop it, though. Wow! Okay, so yeah, I respritted the sniper. I'll show it off when I'm in a less life-compromising area. Uh, go ahead, teleport near me. That is not a bad weapon, actually. Yeah, it could definitely be better, but... God, it's nice having a high damage weapon, I'll tell you what. Yeah, that is a sniper. I did not recognize the helmet. This is fantastic. What the hell is that? Cream soda? That's like one of my favorite types of soda. Okay, so snipers... Oh, hey, I got the rifle scope as well. Okay, so I got literally everything you can get from a sniper now. That's good. Come back, you coward. Got him. Oh, Ninja Tabby! Instant replacement. Nope, stop. Quit. No, don't. Don't do it. Oh my god. That sucks, dude. Ugh, I knew it. Oh my gosh, the dash from the Tabby is so good. Holy crap. Oh, I've missed this. Can't even one-shot a green slime. Good lord. Oh! Hey, that's the, uh... It's, oh, it's a jousting lance. Awesome. I don't think this does anything special, but... That's okay. Oh, damn it. Screw off, you dumb ragged caster! No! Oh yes, and now that Plantera's dead, I can get the piranha gun. Because I got the jungle key. And the piranha gun got... T t crazy buffed. Okay. Alright, we're just gonna dig through this wall here. Oh, those are tactical skeletons! Here we go, lads! Please give me your shotgun. Damn it. That one's got a shotgun, though. Give it. No! Necromancer, frick off! No. Just 
Oh my god. Oh my god, Ragged Casters! There it is, boys. There's also the uh, the other chest that doesn't matter right now. Okay. Pranagon, 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 Pranagon. Okay. So this now fires three piranhas instead of just one. Uh, and they're better. Um... Maybe not. <laughs> I thought they were supposed to do either more damage or damage faster. Uh, I don't know. This doesn't seem to be that much of an upgrade. Oh, he dropped it. We got it. We got the tactical shotgun. Oh, it's, that's, that's good at crowds. Oh, that's good at crowds. Wow. Alright, that's okay. It's it's not bad, honestly. Okay, but we got... I'm pretty sure we got everything I want. All I really need now is the rocket launcher, and that's... I, I can give or take that. It'd be cool to have... Oh, god damn it. <laughs> but it's not really that good of a weapon, so... I really just wanted it to show off the reef, right? Anyway, we got the tactical shotgun, which, if you couldn't tell by the look and sound of it, I have, it, it's just Reaper's shotgun. It's just straight up Reaper's shotgun. Yep, I changed the sprite and, and the sound. It does float a little bit because it is shorter than the tactical shotgun, but Honestly, I think it looks okay. Uh, and I never realized how inaccurate this thing is, because I almost always end up using it with chlorophyte bullets. This is not a great weapon without chlorophyte bullets. With chlorophyte bullets, this thing is an absolute beast of a weapon. Certainly capable of taking out Duke Fishrod. Which I can't actually fight, uh, thinking about it. I do have the summoner. I got really lucky and got a summoner. Um, and I would love to fight Duke Fishron. Thing is, we're gonna need a true might armor. Uh, I really don't want to build a house. I could convert a floating island if I wanted to. I think that's what I want to do. And I could just use block swaps so it wouldn't even really be that tedious of a process. Yeah, screw it. I think I'm gonna do that. Okay, one on this side. And one on the other side. Should be all it takes, and then we, we really just have to wait. Oh, here we go. It's mushroom biome. Although for some reason the sun is still here. This is now a valid house. So the boy should move in. No! You son of a biscuit! Why would you do that? Okay, uh, th that's fine. All I gotta do is go to that other floating island, make that a valid house. What the hell is that? A chicken nugget? Hell yeah, dog. Alright, I just gotta make this a valid house, move the cyborg in here. Then the boy can come. The angler? No! Alright, another floating island. He spawned in mid freaking air. What a guy. He should definitely move in soon. It's gonna be nighttime soon, though. The cyborg died. Come on, somebody move in! Really, dude? Oh my god. Alright, well, we gotta wait through the night again. This is above ground, it is mushroom. Yes, we did it! We got the truffle boys, and he's he's committing suicide. Quick, go stop him. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, he's got a walkin'. The, the dude can walk. Uh, but that doesn't matter right now. I need that. Have fun out here, pal. Uh, I, I want him to walk, though. Yeah, he, he's angry. When you walkin', dude! There he goes! That is a powerful walkin' animation. Oh my god, look at him strut. What a legend. What an absolute legend. 
All right, anyway, we got the auto hammer. That's all I needed. Boom, full Shroomite armor. That is a pretty damn big upgrade from Hallowed. We haven't figured it out yet. I'm planning on just going to skip the Golem and go straight for Duke Fishron, because all we really get from the Golem is the Stinger, Ranger-wise. And while the Stinger's good, it's not great against Duke Fishron. All we really need is Chlorophyte Bullets and the Combat Shotgun, which is... or Tactical Shotgun, which is what we have, so... We're totally going to just fight Duke Fisheron. Oh, good. It's a Blood Moon. We can't skip through Blood Moons, unfortunately. Hey, we killed the Dread Nautilus, and it didn't actually drop uh, anything. That's really cool. Really enjoying this trend of Blood Mood enemies just not actually dropping anything. They're really, really tough to kill. Um, I'm way beyond the point where I should be able to actually fight these guys, and way beyond the point where their loot is actually useful, as far as I know. And... Uh, like, the effort you need to go through to get these Blood Moon items is just not worth it. At all. Please drop your weapon, dude. Please. Oh my god! How low are these drop rates? How the hell do you dodge that attack? Like, seriously. Oh god, Dread Nautilus! Guess what it dropped? It dropped more money. And that's it. That's all it dropped. I just... Why are they so rare? They're such tough enemies. Okay, the goblins can go... Just... Blow up a balloon. A and balloon. The entire army, if they could just go blow up a balloon... That'd be great. Because I'm gonna fight... Duke Fish Ron. Okay. Back home for the potions. There's goblins here. I forgot about them somehow. Oh, I lost the zoologist, damn it! Stupid goblins! God, I hate them! Okay. This has been an absolute cluster fudge. I am gonna do this if it kills me. Bring it on, you stinky fish.
you gotta be kidding me! You mother quack goblins. Well, god damn it. I was so, so close. I'm so, I'm so disappointed. I guess we just gotta go for the golem instead. I know we could definitely be more optimized right now. For example, I could probably get the de the destroyer emblem and make the sniper scope and then to do all that, and probably get some more ranged focus items. And it's probably more mobility and stuff we could get. There's all sorts of things I could be doing to make things more optimal. Reforge for defense. Ugh. I'm just gonna rush through. And probably die in the process. There we go. Made it to the room. I have the one summoner that I need. Oh, I can't break traps! I can place blocks in front of them. That should be okay. I don't actually know if placing blocks in front of them will work. Oh, I can break the pressure plates. Okay, well, I'll just do that. That's way easier. Okay, let's fight the golem. God, I hope we beat him. Crystal bullets, combat shotgun, we should be fine. <laughs> Gollum killed me. <sighs> Holy sh... What a motivation killer. The Gollum, the biggest pushover of all bosses in the entire game, and I lost to that. Unbelievable. I, I don't even know what to say. I didn't buff up again. That might That might have helped. I just drank my buff potions. Well, I don't have a lot of time to get over there then. Let's go. Oh my god! I'm gonna die to traps. Okay, uh, I have to end the episode now. I'm too tilted now. I'm, I'm too angry. Uh, I've been recording for nearly two hours now, and I, uh, I just I feel super rushed for some reason. Uh, and that's causing me to be incredibly impatient and play really poorly. 
uh, and die to spikes and stupid traps and the last three seconds of Duke Fishron and the Gollum. Once again, sorry for the negativity. Thankfully, it didn't get to the point of the other episode, I don't think. Uh, I'm still really mad at Master Mode. Because all these problems are Master Mode. All of it's Master Mode. It's just, if it wasn't Master Mode, I wouldn't have any of these problems. Duke Fresh Armor would be dead. Gollum would be dead. Things would be great. But instead, they just... No, I'm gonna start ranting. That's gonna do it for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all have a magnificent day. Derpo the Magnificent out.